Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to hardwire your fire stick. And yes, I mean your fire stick. And now keep in mind this only works on the Gen 2 fire stick. But without further ado, let's jump into this. Okay, so right now I am just connected to regular Wi-Fi and the signal strength is very good. My router is actually on the other side of the house, but let's go ahead and do a speed test right fast. Let's see how, let's see how fast the Fire Stick is with just Wi-Fi. Just so we can do a little speed test comparison. All right, now we're gonna begin the speed test. I'm just gonna test the ping. Okay, 39 ping. Taking a little bit for it to get up there. All right, so that's seven and a half, six. That's actually not too bad, considering my network is at a nine megabit per second speed, thirty-nine ping. The upload on my network has always been terrible. It's like hardly has anything. It gets up to about half a megabit to about a megabit upload. Okay, but that is with that. Okay, so now we're gonna head back over. Wait, no, over here. Now we're gonna go back into network. I'm gonna show you what you need. Okay, so this is the adapter we're using. It, I bought it off Amazon. It's about, I would say $15. So I'm get angle a little better, but. Right now I'm using this keyboard with it, which is also a very good thing you can uh, do with it. But um, it has three ports and then a charge port. This is how you put, supply power. And then it's got to charge and OTG. Right now it's on OTG. And so you'll need this, and the only other thing you'll need is this. USB to Ethernet. Any random one will work. This is just a $5 one I bought off Amazon just for, you know, testing. And so, I'll show you how it works. So first, we're gonna plug this into this. Let's see, sorry about this. Okay, so when you plug it in, get this pretty blue light. And now, we just need to take our hard wire, ethernet cable, and plug it right in. Again, sorry about this. Okay, so now we plugged it in. So now this will automatically change. You just see it change. And it said wired, it says wired connection. So now we are hardwired. Hardwired into the wall, into there, into the fire TV. Now, let's just go back. And now let's test the internet connection. Okay, it'll probably be around the same just considering how my internet is, but do keep in mind I do have people on the internet right now on my home Wi-Fi. So it will vary, but the ping should be a little better. 29, see the ping is a little bit better and it's starting to get up to speed a little faster. But the download is around the same. I think it was just a few like point megabits faster, but you know, you're gonna get that no matter what. But the ping is definitely better, and better ping is good. And you can see the upload is a little faster than it was before. Um, but with this speed test, it's a little hard to tell just because um, how slow my internet is to begin with, because um, I don't have very, very fast internet. But um, the ethernet definitely helps with streaming, like streaming no I mean, literally anything. Um, like if I go to my um, Netflix, wherever it's at, there it is. I mean, everything loads pretty decently. Faster. Like I like it a lot better than just regular Wi-Fi because you know, regular Wi-Fi, you, you have walls that interfere and just all kinds of junk. So this, I definitely recommend to anybody who has a Gen 2 Fire Stick. Now keep in mind, Gen 2. Gen 1s do not supply the um, OTG function. 
Okay, let's go over to my account and just watch anything random. Whatever this is. Okay, that is weird. It just. Hmm, strange. Don't know why it did that to me. Okay, let's just see how fast it goes. That is actually strange that it's showing percentage because it doesn't normally do that to me. But, let's try it again. Let's try it with something else. Let's see. Whatever this is. Yeah, it loads a little, loads a little bit faster, but loads the exact same way like as Cody, and I was actually surprised because before I was hardwired, everything loaded way too slow. Like, I mean, you could sit on Cody and you could click a movie and be waiting like three minutes, to, like for it to you know pop up. As soon as I did this, I was like, like I had new Wi-Fi again. I was just like, this is amazing. And um, also another little thing you can do if you want. Um, just optional, but um, you can actually hook a hard drive or flash drive up to this as well. Um, hard drives are pretty cool just because they're, you know, huge. Um, so you can put, you know, all your files. So you can also, you know, download um, APKs, stuff like that in your Fire Stick and whatnot. But that's really not what this is. This video is about. It's just about Ethernet. But uh, yeah, that is how to use um, Ethernet. And like, I really um, recommend this adapter. It's a lot easier than other OTG adapters. Um, I've never actually seen anybody use this adapter, and I don't know why. Um, like, it is a very, very, very good adapter. Um, I've been using it for quite a while, actually, and I've had zero issues with it at all. This too, like, no issues whatsoever. I haven't, I haven't had connection issues or anything. Like, I recommend this setup, like, I mean, you know, you could also go for the, um, you know, Fire TV um, if you want. I know it's a little bit more expensive to use the Fire TV, but in my opinion, this works beautifully. Like, I have had zero issues. Like, like it doesn't heat up or anything. Like, I'm actually amazed with it running. Like, you can run this keyboard, this hard drive, and this Ethernet all at the same time and have no issues. So really really like it really 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 recommend it and yeah well thank you guys for watching um really helps uh, me out uh you guys watching and liking and subscribing to my videos so i can do more stuff like this um but yeah thank you guys for watching please comment rate and subscribe and i'll talk to you later